One important way that we can think about environmental factors and how they contribute to mental illness is by talking about the ACEs study. ACEs stands for Adverse Childhood Experiences, and the ACEs study is one of the largest investigations ever conducted to demonstrate how maltreatment in childhood is associated with health and well-being throughout the lifespan into adulthood. Adverse childhood experiences have been described as the leading public health crisis of our time. The ACEs study began in 1995 at Kaiser Permanente in California with the goal of determining what impact, if any, negative experiences during childhood had on adult health outcomes. The initial study included over 17,000 participants and is still actively tracking health outcomes for those individuals. The participants were all given a confidential survey that addressed childhood experiences as well as current health-related symptoms. A physical exam was also completed. The researchers then used the data collected from the surveys and the exams to determine how adverse childhood experiences were related to health outcomes in adulthood. What you see here is called the ACEs pyramid. This pyramid represents the conceptual framework for the study. At the time that this study was initiated in the mid-90s, there was lots of information available about risk factors for disease. As a result, there were lots of public education and prevention programs. Do you remember, this is your brain on drugs? However, something that was becoming really evident during this time was that risk factors for chronic diseases were not evenly distributed in the population. Risk factors tended to cluster, meaning that a person with one risk factor was more likely to also have other risk factors. To address this issue, the ACEs study was designed to assess scientific gaps about the origins of risk factors. These gaps are depicted as the two arrows linking adverse childhood experiences to risk factors that lead to the health and social consequences higher up the pyramid. Specifically, the study was designed to provide data that would help answer the question, if risk factors for disease, disability, and early mortality are not randomly distributed, what influences precede the adoption or development of them? The developers of the ACEs study hoped that by answering this question, information would be available to develop new and more effective prevention programs.